Joey G is here, the great Joe Gannisco, best actor in the history of television on a lot of levels. Because you had one of the most difficult roles ever, ever. And you, you, you played it beautifully, and uh, congrats on that. Well, you must be talking about uh, being the, a mobster. A mobster. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I grew up around a mobster. Is, I tell you what, I, but, but to do that, that takes guts. It takes a risk, and that is, it's hard to do it. And so I applaud you. Did I, you, I, you really you grow up around mobsters? Well, I'm from Brooklyn, so mm. um, I saw a lot of guys. Yeah, really? see, see guys. Yeah. Well, you, you know what the you Biggie Smalls said? Biggie Smalls said, Biggie Smalls said, pimps to my hooligans. Hooligans, <laughs> head right, if they head right, Biggie, they head right. Yeah. He's not talking about, uh, you know, angels over there, pal. This is stuff. Well, stuff. I don't know. I yeah. mean, I, I probably. Well, no, I grew have... up in North Jersey, and I, 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 was, I was a long You shoreman. feel like you saw monsters? I was a long. I definitely don't. I just know. feel like it's not even. Well, no, I don't you don't. You're not going to see it in Harrisburg. Or no, right. exactly. No, it just Burke. seems so far the from real the guys, realm the of real, reality. The real guys me. don't let you know they're mobsters. The real guys don't let you know they're mobsters. They yeah, don't. But, they, but they you grow, the, when you grow up around it, you know who's who. Really? Yeah. You I mean, it's, is it you know. really like on your show? They keep your mouth shut. Or is that the? Well, no, it's a show. It's you know, it's right. It's not really like that anymore. I, I, I'm fearful of ever being run into those people. down, you know. Guys will come up to you and say, you know, you know, you want to make a bet. In my neighborhood, they didn't force you into it, but they said, look, if you're going to make a bet on a on a sporting event. You do it through us. We're not yeah. going to force you to. Although in the old days, in some tougher neighborhoods, they would force you. But with me, they were like, look, if you're going to make a bet. They would and force I was you a, to bet. Sometimes they'd say, look, you got to gamble. <laughs> if they saw you wow. watching and sports, they, you they take saw a you at the sports, right. they'd say, do you want action? Right. And they make you take a loan. Yeah. And they make the loan sharks would say, look, take a loan from us. And they would charge you insane interest. You know, if they were in cahoots. Bookies and loan sharks sure. are like. Casting directors and photographers. <laughs> well, hmm. well, I told you on the show, I went through that living hell when I was a longshoreman. I started that living hell that I had to get out of where I went through about a year where I was borrowing from a Shylock to pay yeah. a bookie. And that's that's terrible. It's like, you know, and if I had stayed down there, I would have fell into a lot worse stuff. But, you know, Joe and myself got out through uh, showbiz. That's well, a way out. Like where, Sports is a way out. But where I live, there's a, we, everyone knows who the bookie is. And he, you know that you go to a certain bar on a certain night and he's there and... I think. I mean, I'd, I've never talked to him in that regard. I know the guy, but I think it's it's a Boy, lot more out ruining, in the open. You're ruining it for everybody. Uh, it's you, a lot more you out probably the open. Know it's the story. Bobby. Uh, do you, you know this story. I don't think John was. I'll tell you quickly. I opened the restaurant. I was a chef before an actor. And I was uh, opened up a very popular restaurant in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. And it was, I you know, I guess my personality, I got bored a little. So I started... And I was always a gambler, but I was started going heavy because I was making, you know, good money. I was uh, the same way. I was a guy like gambling. That's a, that's a bad like, character. When you bit the over under on the uh, NBA All Star game, but, <laughs> but uh, so you, you definitely need action. And but, it's twelve hundred. <laughs> so uh, I I went up and down, up and down the whole year, and the last game of the season, I decided to send it in. So I bet heavy on the Giants. Mm. They lost 12-10 to the Patriots. The Patriots were bad. They did the year they won the Super Bowl in 1990. Right. I tried, and this is back in 90 when, you know, sports wasn't just like the games that are on, the games are out, that are on. I went, I tried to make it up with the Jets. And then I... Always I, a bad move. Always mm. a bad move. And <laughs> they, uh, I, I tried to make it all back with Pittsburgh-Houston. Because so, that was the national game that night. Yeah, the Sunday night. Right, that's and, uh, the worst. <laughs> and uh, you know, it's your last. It's 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 that get even or you're done. So I sent it in everything, and it was almost like sixty thousand. You know, sure. but they came in and they said, "Joe, you're going to cover this." I said, "Yeah, yeah you sort of restaurant." Um. <laughs> so they said, "All right, they put fine. it in." Uh, Cody Carlson was backing up for uh, Warren Moon. Here's when you they, start the names. You start going, Cody Carlson. Cody Carlson's my guy. He's the That's one when who the guy starts getting bad. Yeah. Cody Carlson made me an actor. So um, uh, Houston, like Pittsburgh, had number one defense. And like a jerk, you know, of course, the rest of the starters, they got the playoffs coming. Cody uh -huh. Carlson throws for like 500 yards. And I was like, no, I'm watching the game. And they go, Joe, you don't look right. And people are like, you know, because the bars, <laughs> TV's all above the bar. And they go, Joe, you look right about 60 said, Gs. You know, I'm talking, you're not even listening to me. And I, I remember, like, I'm, I, I went home and I said, I'm done. I cashed out that week. I told my partner, I says, look, I'm getting out of here. Three days later, I moved to LA to pursue You cashed acting. out of the restaurant. I cashed out. I said, you got to take Wait, care of this guy. You know how great you are? 
you, a lot of people would not have done it. A lot of people would have chased it and chased it and chased it. You were smart to say, look, I'm getting out of here. Yeah, I'm getting out. Because I'm in trouble. Yeah. I, but isn't it I went deeper than you. To I get went out? deeper. Isn't that deeper. the thing? It's impossible to get out. No. You're, not get, in the, you're not in the mafia. Once they get their hooks into you. <laughs> we're not in the mafia if you make a couple of bets. If, if, if you pay it off, off no. If I would have went leave. to Boston or or Philly or Florida, I probably would have found the bookie and found the action, too. In Los Angeles... I didn't. It's easier to find an agent. <laughs> yeah, and really. they're bigger dirt bags. <laughs> Usually they're bigger dirt bags. Yeah. But, uh, you know, what do you think about the twins' pronunciation of Pastis Haley? Does that make you sick? Um, yeah, you know what? It reminds me of uh, Kelly Pickler. Remember when she said Calamary? Yeah. Oh. Kelly Pickler. Kelly yeah. Pickler. You guys know Kelly her. Kelly Pickler. Because yeah, yeah, she, she was on, I sat next to her on, on, on Kimmel's show, and I says, what's with the Cal? It's Galama. She goes, what? <laughs> Gala who? So, uh, you know, it's... So you don't uh, even say the out. C, you just say Galama? Galama. Yeah, Galama. Galama. Yeah, it I could be different like at all. It's slang. You know what it is? It's slang. You know, it's slang. Yeah, I'm not it's saying galama. it's classy or anything. It's like it's gobble slang. Ghoul. Yeah, gabagool. Gabagool. Yeah, I can't gobble believe ghoul. the gobble ghoul. Gobble ghoul. I, gobble ghoul. And no. Galama. You, I, hey, listen, if you were a fan of the show, you learned all that on the show. Yeah. Well, that's very North Jersey. It is. Uh, Gabagool? La, 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 well, Gabagool, mozzarella. Mozzarella, uh, we say uh, yeah, mozzarella. mozzarella. Some, some Italians say the R. Some just don't say the R. Schmatz is mozzarella. smoke mozz. No, yeah, schmatz is smoke mozz. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but now you girls... But we got scongeal, too. You, you see the scongeal? Did you bring scongeal salad? Uh, no, I brought... What is that? Uh, galama, scongeal fried galama, like scongeal, it's fish. and fried shrimp yeah. with the with the uh, with the medium oh, sauce. That sounds fantastic. And I bought rigatoni with sausage and meatballs with oh. the mild sauce. Oh, that's, and see, then I'm, antifaz. Afraid to, I'm afraid to have them touch it. Do you know how to dish that out? Yeah. We can dish it out, but we can't take it. No. I, I yeah, might, I might have, try to dish out the rigatoni. The I might have to supervise that. I don't want to see no, it. No, 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 but, uh, Bushetti, you can't do it either, Bushetti. <laughs> <laughs> no, I could. I could no, no, look, if you want one of Mike's foot hair in it, you got to eat it. Oh, <laughs> you know the hair that grows on. You know the hair that grows on top of your toe. If you want one of those in it from Bushetti, you can have it. Oh. Do you have any hair on your body? You're hairless. I'm ha hairless. I got, my brother has like a rug on his back. I'm hairless, though. Oh. Oh. That's not cheese. That's a dangerous on top. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, do you think you... Do you know what rigatoni is, by the way? It's pasta. Well, do you know what it would look like if you took it out of the thing there? Yeah. Try to dish it out. Yeah, okay. I'll just is it hot? Out. Is it still hot? No, probably not. They don't but... know how to heat it up. I can heat it up in the microwave. I learned the other Not day. Not the microwave. Like the oven. I mean, the oven. The oven. You don't put pasta in a microwave. It gets all mushad. I'll put it oven in the oven for a little while. What? The oven works? How a little while. Yeah, yeah the oven works. Yeah. The oven works. Oh, everything's over. But yeah. they said, they said, I'll put it in the oven for a little while. Throw what everything in. Throw, throw them both okay. in the oven, but not the empty pot. What's a little okay. while mean? <laughs> um, 15 minutes. <laughs> preheated 350. Uh, oh, okay. No. <laughs> He's like, please. Do you know how to preheat an oven? Yes, I learned the other day. I, I, he I, has to teach him. Honey, you can leave the cover off. Joe, you got to teach it off? him. Okay. Yeah, because it'll get steamed. Steamy. Yeah, oh, God, Joe. I don't know what and, we're doing here. We're going to try to crisp up the galama. <laughs> no, I know, but they're, they're, I don't trust And I got it's with the frizzle bread, the uh, Adi. Oh, you got frizzle bread? Yeah. Well, got to nice. have that with the uh, scongeal, no? John, I don't know. So, so John, how, are you, how are you doing, Joe? I know you, you, first right. of all, you look good. You, you're not nearly as heavy as you are when you're at your heaviest. Yeah, wait, well, now. Yeah, right, that's been a while. You, you know, look good? Since I had my hips done, uh, right after they got off the show, I had double hip replacement. Mm -hmm. and that I, that and is hard, man. Yeah. That's tough. At to the same, uh, same that's day. That's rough. Same day. Oh, jeez. That limp on the show was, was real. Yeah. So, when I got that done, I was playing golf every day. Five days a week, I was in the morning, getting up at three, four in the morning, and I walked the course. I, it, it killed you me to take a step. You walked the course. I walked the course. I was uh, I was obsessed with golf. Where in Brooklyn? No, no. I'm in Long Island. Where'd you go play Long Island? Okay. I'm in Long Island, Eisenhower Park. Great. You know, I just had a routine. Get up, get my coffee, 7-Eleven. Uh, get my ticket. Very then showbiz. Then go read the Very showbiz. I love you. Go to 7-Eleven for the course. I love. It. <laughs> Should I, I go? Yeah, I didn't go to the course. Joe, do I have to plugs. write down these plugs for you? So you can. <laughs> 7-Eleven. So I can mark them on the sh on, for the show. <laughs> yeah, now you should. So um. <laughs> And uh, that was my routine, and I did it for four and a half years, and I was stuck between 88 and 92, and I couldn't knock off three or four strokes. And not that I want to hit scratch or anything, but, you know, I just couldn't get down to 82 and 84, so last August I gave it up. I'm going to get back because I missed the routine. That's but why? Because you couldn't get down at... What, what, I wanted what, to get... On the course eight, you were playing, what is scratch? 82, 88, 88. Between 88 and 92, I was... I was, uh, I was wow. Wow. And that's, to, a good, that's shape, great, though, it, man. For four and a half years, I mean, I never played. And I, I, I played every day, sometimes twice in a day I walked the course. 
so five, six, seven walking. times a week. Yeah, no, it was, it was good because you're exercising, you didn't even know it. Mm -hmm. So, but to shave three or four strokes is so hard. It's so hard. I, I, I don't know, but golf is by far the hardest sport to play. You think, well, skill wise, I mean, it's yeah. you get the ball when you're hitting, you know, not as far as athleticism is concerned. I mean, you know, you yeah, got enormously wise. fat skill guys wise. like me yeah. and you out there playing in the John, like John, Frank Dale, Dadler. John Daly, you know. John Daly. <laughs> but skill I'm talking wise. about skill, you know, skill wise, yeah. that's, that's insanely difficult. No, they hit a baseball is skill. Yeah. Uh, see, I think it's baseball when it comes to uh, push the show. You know, you know, because they say you, know, you got a slider. Thing. You ever see a good slider? I saw a good slider once or twice in American League. I was like, okay. I, I, I used to hurt a, hit against Burt Blylevin. You know, but I remember that girl. Burt Blylevin. I'm like, oh, what are you, 82 years old, Burt Blylevin? <laughs> you remember Burt really, Blylevin? You really? Of course, I remember yeah, Burt Blylevin. 12 to six was his Pittsburgh Burt Pirate. Uh, Minnesota Twin. He never played for the Pirates. No. I thought he played for the Pirates. He went to Detroit. I'm thinking of Kent Colby. Oh, he was the the uh, Under Armour. Yeah, Kent the Colby. He was a pirate. I'm, All right, we're gonna take a I'm break. I'm sorry, you want? We got no, no. We're gonna. Yeah, we'll. We're oh, gonna I'm take sorry. a break. I cut you off. When we come That's back, well, no, there's time. We'll all make our points. Uh, the girls are gonna heat up something, so we'll have a piece of sheetrock when we come back. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll talk more with the great Joe Ganeskelly about Tasty. what's going on in his life and uh, maybe more golf and stuff. That's the sports hook we have.